then it, the air rushing in at the same time just sucks that vaporized fuel and mystified fuel into the combustion chamber. If it were direct injected gasoline engine, someplace more vertical on the head, maybe up here or something like that, or pointing here in a steeper angle, would be the injector spraying inside the cylinder area. That's much better. It's just more expensive to build and higher technology. The two biggest differences between diesel fuel and gasoline are the diesel fuel is an oil and gasoline is more like a solvent. The second biggest difference is diesel fuel is fractionated and designed to light at a low temperature. It lights normally at less than 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Gasoline is the opposite. It's designed to light at a highest temperature possible so that you can have more compression in the engine which gives you more energy and more free horsepower. So gasoline typically lights at 700 degrees Fahrenheit or more. We call this the octane rating. The higher the octane rating, say for example from 89 to 110, like for airplane fuel, the higher the number, the higher the temperature which the fuel ignites. And that means since there's already fuel in the cylinder when a diesel, I mean when a gasoline engine is running, you have to have some way to prevent it from igniting until it's the right time and the spark plug does it for it. On a diesel engine, if you had the fuel somehow vaporized or atomized while the engine was compressing, like in a typical gasoline engine, it would most likely fire when the engine was warm before the piston got to the top and push it back down the wrong way. So like the way spark timing works in an engine, diesel inject injector timing works that way. It fires the fuel when the engine's at t around TDC, so that the piston being moved around by the flywheel's momentum, pushes the piston down in the right direction when it ignites automatically just by the extreme temperatures in there. And finally, if you have a diesel engine and you want to run it on alternative fuels like heating oil, animal fats, cooking oil, vegetable oil, whatever, it doesn't matter. Your engine needs no modifications. You just have to make sure the fuel is properly filtered, that if it's a high glycerin type fuel that you have a method of getting the glycerin out of the fuel because that's bad for the engine and bad for the injector pump. And if it's a fuel that gels easily, well you have to make sure that you have a solvent in it so it doesn't gel easy or easy in cool weather. And of course any type of uh, non-diesel type fuel or non-heating oil type fuel, especially vegetable derivative ones, definitely have a problem with gelling and thickening up in the wintertime and become unusable in cold weather.